Whenever I've got a problem, whenever I'm in pain, whenever I'm unhappy, I have to at least be open to the possibility that the reason for it is that I think I'm in control of the universe. It's often that, whether I'm sat in traffic ranting and raving, or if I'm trying to control my personal relationships, this mistaken belief that I am personally in charge of the world leads me to conflict and discomfort. Like, so, once I admit there's a problem, it's possible that the problem could change, I'm now ready for a bit of a kicker. That, and, and that is that it's not me that's gonna bring about these new conditions, not using the techniques and methods that I've been using up to now. That's very obvious when, like if your plan is, oh, what's your plan, Russell? Well, what I thought I'd do is I'd smoke crack and heroin every day and create psychological conditions that I can live with. Is the plan going well? Oh, not really, actually. I've become unemployable and no one can ever love me. Okay, and with a less obvious example, like the phone news, what's your plan, Russell? Oh, I'm gonna make myself feel good because hopefully someone on Twitter will have said that they like my hair. Is it working? Is, it, is there enough compliments? Do we need to dig Shelley from the cold, dead earth so that he can write some ode to your hair that might finally fill you up? Or is your plan not working? Do you need another plan? Are you willing to? We know that I've admitted it's a, that there's a problem. We know that I've come to believe that a power greater than myself can restore me to sanity. I've done those worksheets and you shouldn't be even watching this if you haven't done those things. So you're there too. You've admitted you've got a problem. You know it's possible for that problem to change. And now we're ready to accept a new system. Now we're ready to step out of our previous modality, our personal Kubla Khan of domed authority, where we are our own personal Jesus, our own deity, making free wishes to ourselves and never remembering to wish for infinite more wishes with the last one, trapped in an infinite loop of misery. So for me, step three is Essentially, like, oh man, <laughs> as I wrote it, are you on your own gonna unfuck yourself? No, I'm not. I've looked at my life, I've seen what's going down. What happens is this, I have unfulfilling relationships, I get kicked out of jobs, I piss people off, I'm lonely, I'm unhappy. Now, like, I've had the gift of living up till the point when I stopped taking drugs, a pretty extreme life, and then, if bloody hell, to be honest, it continued being extreme because I was dealing with things like fame and celebrity, which, believe me, are pretty toxic and addictive in themselves. What is fame other than placing an image of yourself in the world and then having some relationship with this mad abstraction over which you've got no bloody control? Uh, but every so often, like all forms of addiction, throws you a bone, gets you into a restaurant on, and other forms of reward which hardly need further explanation. The evidence is that I need help.